أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين ولعنة الله على عدائهم أجمعين We offer our felicitations and congratulations on the birth of Qamar ibn Hashim of Abd al-Saleh Hazrat Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas alayhi salatu wassalam Hazrat Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas alayhi salam was the first child of Umm al-Banin and it was a special and a very spectacular birth of his. Of course, in the family of Amirul Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wasalam, this moon of Hashemites which was born would enlighten the world with his merits and add glory to the new, numerous glories of Bani Hashim. Imam Amirul Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wasalam when he was given the news that he had a son, Abu al-Fadl Abbas, he recited the adhan in his right ear, the aqam in his left ear. And he became, and this was the first word that he heard in his life on this blessed day. On the seventh day, Imam Amir al shaved his head and gave gold and silver and sadaqah as a weight of the head. These are the practices of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam which he did for Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain Al Salat. There's something particularly special with regards to his birth and with regards to his name. So I want to share with you today two things inshallah to reflect on. One is his name which is special and two the most important aspect of his life or his personality. So his name, Hazrat Zainab Sallallahu asked uh, after the completion of the ceremonies to her father that, Oh my father, have you chosen a name and a kunya for my younger brother, this new baby? And he replied, Yes, I have. So she asked, What are they? So he replied that I've named him Al-Abbas and I've given him Kunia Abu Al-Fadl. We use Anna Salaamu Alaiha loved Hazrat Abu Al-Fadl Abbas a lot and she could not be there to be separated from him. And this of course continued all the way from the moment that he born he was born all the way up to the moment that he left this world. What does Al-Abbas mean? Al-Abbas comes from Abbas, which means to frown. But regarding the meaning of the name Al-Abbas, it is mentioned that there are different types of lions or different descriptions of lion in the Arabic language. And a lion in every state has a particular name. So one of the dictionaries of Arabic language mentioned that Al-Abbas is the lion that other lions are fearful of and they escape from. And another of the dictionaries mentioned that this name is given to the courageous, the fearless, the strong, the attacker. It is one of the names of a lion and describing Hazrat Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, many historians have said that he was like or he used to attack the enemy like an angry lion. But in reality, what was it that was the greatest thing about Hazrat Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas? Two narrations I want to mention. One is from Imam Zainul Abidin his nephew, and one is from Imam Sadiq Imam Zainul Abidin says that on the day of judgment, my uncle Abbas will have a position that is the pride of all of the shuhada from the beginning of time to the end of time, nobody will have a, have a position the way that my uncle Abu al-Fadl Abbas would have a position. Why is it that he would have this position? 
because he was the most obedient to the Imam of his time. And this is the lesson for us, that the one who's the most obedient to the Imam of his time is the one who gets the highest rank and the highest manzilat and the most rewards and the most merit in the eyes of God. Imam Sadiq says about his great uncle that my uncle Abbas, my great uncle Abbas was complete in faith and a man of clear and piercing insight. What does it mean? It means that his faith in Imam Hussain was so complete and so unique that he was able to know what is it that Imam Hussain wanted from him and his piercing insight was such that he was able to know the realities of the unseen and from the physical point of view he was able to strike the fear in of death in people just by looking at them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ma'rifat of Hazrat Abu Khalil Abbas alayhi salatu wasalam and make us amongst those who get his ziyarat in our lifetimes in Karbala and his shafa'at in the next life, inshaAllah.